We want to determine the age of a meteorite or any other rock, we need the isochron equation. So for example, in the decay system, rubidium to strontium, this looks something like this. There is the 87 strontium by 86 strontium, which is the amount or the, the ratio we measure in a rock or meteorite. And this is then the sum of some initial 87, 86 strontium. So that has already been present before the decay starts, plus the rubidium 87, so this is what is then decaying, by 86 strontium times the uh, decay equation part here. Now in an isochron plot, this looks like this. There is the rubidium 87 by 86 strontium, and here is the daughter, the strontium 87, 86 strontium. And then there is a, here, basically, this is the initial value. Because if there's no rubidium, so this is zero here, so which means there's no rubidium, this point stays the same. But all the other rocks that might have rubidium strontium ratio, something like this, plot here, and they decay then with time, and thereby form the isochron, which is rotated in this direction. And the rotation point is here, so this is really the initial value, and this is what we need. To, to anchor basically the isochron. This is something we need for um, a set up here for the isochron equation. Now this is something we need to determine somehow. And there are a couple of suggestions for this. And one very common suggestion is the Barbie value or the Barbie reservoir. And this is what is shown here. And Barbie simply means basaltic achondrite best initial. So for this, a number of achondrites are used. And the reason for using various achondrites is that they have various rubidium 87, strontium 86 ratios, and that is what is required. We cannot use just a CI chondrite, because then we get just a single value. And with a single value, we cannot determine an initial. We need a couple of um, various values for rubidium strontium, ra or rubidium strontium ratios to determine this uh, isochron, and from this then the initial value. So that's what's done here. So a number of basaltic achondrites are used, like Stannon, Yonzak, Nuevo, Laredo, Siuscan, Juvenas, Pasamonte, Mo County, sometimes you might see a couple more, doesn't really matter. And then they define an isochron here, and this isochron has a y-axis intercept. And this intercept is, as shown before, is the, the initial value for the rubidium strontium system, or more, more precisely for the 87 strontium, 86 strontium ratio here. And then the assumption behind this is, of course, that these basaltic achondrites initially had the same uh, rubidium, or the same 87, 86 strontium concentration as the CI chondrites, as otherwise, um, of course, if there were pre-fractionation, um, this could not be used as the initial, but the assumption is that the achondrites and CI were the same, and this then also represents the initial value of our solar system. And from this plot, of course, you can also make a, determine the age of the achondrites, which is very similar to the um, solar system, about 4.4 billions of years. And the initial that is then calculated here is this value here. And so this is what is Barbie. It is one way to um, define the initial value of the strontium, 87 strontium, 86 and rubidium strontium system and the value for this for this Barbie is shown here.